You want to show you're not easily won. You want to be in control. I get it, but I find it remedial. It's not who you really want to project to people. It's not what you do that's the problem. It's who you are choosing to let control your life. It's who you want to be that I'm talking about. I'm talking about who you are to those that matter most. Your kids don't get what you do for a living. They know you work, but they're not on board with it. It means you won't make time to play with them. It means you won't make your children a priority. You think you are, and you think I'm a jerk. But I'm living for my soul's contentment. If that's working, I'm working. If that's playing, I'm playing. If that's helping people, I'm helping people. I'm living without any regrets. The only way to do that is to prove you are thinking about tomorrow and the impact on relationships with family. You cannot get back lost time. You cannot get back a child's impression of their parent. How many no's have they heard versus how many yeses? I know what that is like. My oldest son is 27 and lives in Japan with his family. I don't want that for my other soon-to-be kids. When you want to prove to kids that you're really there for them, you show them. You work on you and they'll work too. When you call me, I'll help you put family first. It won't be super easy, but it will make a difference. And sometimes it's the little gifts that make all the difference. Love is in the details. And the moments together. And the way to true happiness is in taking your sons to the zoo or your daughters to the social at school. How you work impacts those memory-making moments that set your relationship with your children for the rest of your life. It's what you say you want, but you so don't show them. So when the kids matter, you will call.